Wine Shipper 1000 here. We're in the Chevy Traverse. There's Monkey. <laughs> we're going on an impromptu camping trip. It's already after 5 o'clock, but we're not going to set up a tent or anything. We're going to sleep in the back of here. Right, Mama? Yeah. And we're going to uh, cook a couple pieces of chicken and some macaroni and cheese. And just kind of hang out for the night, right? Yeah. Alright, so we'll be back with you in a minute. Okay guys, so we made it. We just we're just a couple miles from the house, right? Yeah. And we backed up here in this little channel and I'll show it to you. Pretty cool. Now that right over there is a ramp for the airboats to go by. I think I filmed one once. Yes, we did. And over there, we backed in here first, or backed over there first. And just couldn't get a level spot. It looks level from here, but once you get over there, it's not. But this, we're on like a little island peninsula, actually, type of thing right here. And it's perfectly level and flat. Just backed right down through there, didn't you, Mama? You did. <laughs> so we just backed right through there. We're real close to the road, but that's okay. We just wanted to come out here, camp in the truck tonight, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. We're going to push those seats down. They lay flat. Yeah. And I'm going to cook something to eat here in a little bit. So stick around. More fun. <laughs> what? I don't know how much fun it'll be, but why do those lights come back on? I don't know. That's weird. Hmm. Bruno, are you touching something? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so there we go. We'll, uh... All right, because it's getting dark. We'll get our... It's the dome lights, monkey. I don't know. We'll they were our, off a minute ago. We'll get our chairs out, and then we'll make the bed up in there, and we'll show you what we did. All we're going to do, like it said, is throw them seats down. They lay flat. We're just going to put our bed rolls out and our air mattresses. Well, air pads. They're not mattresses. And that's going to be it. Then we're going to hang out. We're going to have something to eat. And maybe I'll do a story time. A spooky story time. Maybe Monkey will do a story, a story time. You got a story? I don't know. I have to think of one. Okay, she'll think about it. She usually comes up with something. So, all right. What's this? What's that for? Seat belt. Okay, for what? Up. You know what that is? When the seats are up. Car seat. A car seat. Yeah. Okay. One more shot around here. Pretty cool. And this goes for miles out through their little channels like this. 
and it goes for miles that way so awesome we got an airboat coming funny Hurry. thing monkey had to run and get her camera Hurry, Bruno. so we got an airboat coming so you you might get to see him go over the bridge yeah. well they call it a bridge i called her in same thing okay guys we got an airboat coming And it said, fuck that. <laughs> oh, maybe he's never done it before. Okay, guys. There's our bed set up. I'm on this side. Monkey's on that side. She brought an extra blankie. She said in case we get cold, but I think it'll be her if anybody does. But it's 75 right now. I think it's only supposed to get down to like 65. So... And a good thing about being in the car, if we have to, we can start it up and turn the heater on, but I don't think it'll come to that. So, there we go. Now, I guess it's cooking time. Okay, so I was, cook, I was going to cook it back of the car, but it got real windy all of a sudden, as soon as we turned our cameras on. So, I'm in between the doors of the car here. And I forgot the butter. <laughs> So I got it out, but it's over there. Okay. Yeah. Okay, monkey going to get the butter. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, let me get this heated up. Okay, so monkey got the butter. Got these little things. Won't take long to melt this. No. They're cute. Perfect for bacon and stuff. Yeah. Okay. I'll set this over here. We'll dispose of that here in a minute. Wish we had a wood camp stove. Oh yeah, that's right. What happened to it? I don't know, because I wasn't there when that happened to it. Okay, so I'm gonna melt this down. This is not a recipe, I'm just throwing the chicken in. I didn't even flour it. I was gonna flour it before he left the house. And I forgot, so. All right. Well, let's go ahead. I can throw that in there, it's just butter. My piece. And get Monkey the big piece. Left over from our teriyaki night. Yeah. Well, there were still two more, but we froze them, so. All right, I'll bring you back in a minute. We're gonna make some macaroni and cheese. Ooh, nice. I said, ooh, nice. All right. Huh? Okay. All right, as you can see, it's getting darker. Oh, I was going to put my F glove to the test. Because this is going to be hot. Crap. All 
I don't think we'll be cooking all the all the macaroni. We'll be all right, huh? Yeah. Monkey brought some popcorn. Whoops. There we go. All right, we're gonna bring that to boil, and then put our noodles in. See how the, well that goes. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna mix this up. Got some milk over here. Then we're gonna grab a bite to eat. Then we'll tell some stories. Whoa. So, we'll be back with you. I don't know if it's gonna go over it or not. He's thinking. guy was too scared to. <laughs> funny he said fuck that. Yeah. Yeah. Look at Bruno. Yeah. Checking out. What you see there, bud? I don't think they're going to. No. Is it too shallow? No. They're on an airboat. You can run them on the ground. <laughs> yeah, so why don't they want to go around the ground? Probably scared of the height of the bridge, but they can make it. I'm 
too bad as well. And the fringe is left. Yeah, and they, I bet. I wonder if they Crap. could call them. Does this mean I'll never see my wife again? <laughs> well, that's a good thing. I was just going to say, yeah. <laughs> Well, if we had a tent set up, you know, we could take them. Here on the road where I can get picked up and break down in the middle you know? of the yeah. lake. I got enough gas to go. See what I'm saying? What kind of gas do they have to you? That's just regular gas. And get a gas can. I don't have a gas can. No. Okay, guys. So the guy's in the airboat. The airboat won't start. Yeah, we'll get there. Yeah. <coughs> so we're gonna make some Jiffy Pop popcorn. What road is this? I can't remember. No, this is um. Yeah, Turner, Turner Camp. Camp. Okay. All right, here we go. Uh, another story for you because I gotta use this thing. <laughs> There we go. And that's how I gotta light my cigarettes for the rest of the night. Another story. I got two stories. Come on, we're going to Jiffy Pop Pop. Are you gonna pop pop it? Or are you gonna make me do it? I can do it if you turn it around. I get close. Watch your hand. Okay, we Jiffy Pop Pop while they broke down. Yeah, you need to. <laughs> oh, now. <laughs> Okay. It'll start popping. Jiffy pop pop. <laughs> All right, we're gonna let her do her thing. I'm gonna pop my pop. Here it goes. <gasps> Look how fast that is. <laughs> oh, that guy's coming back. Maybe he's gonna help them. I don't know. It's going to get noisy, guys, but we'll yeah. turn it down for you. Yeah, it's going to get noisy because the other airboat's coming. Maybe they'll help him. Okay, slow down. Hold it down. Let it start popping. Once you hear pop, start shaking. Oh, here he comes, babe. Here he comes. See? There he is. Yeah. I can't spin my light around because I don't want to blind him. Shake it to hold it close. <laughs> it's burning. It's burning. Uh -uh. This is two years old, so we don't even know if it's going to pop. <laughs> it may not. Windy too. <laughs> it's popping a little bit, guys. Yeah, I think a little bit will be there. <laughs> what entertainment over here? Yeah. Well, Everywhere we go. Yeah. And it's starting to rain, so. That's why we're doing this, so if it gets rainy, we can crawl in our hole. Yeah, this popcorn's old. Here it goes. It's a bad thing. It used to be real big, remember? Yeah. Oh, this one's meant for camping, isn't it? Yeah. 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 There it goes.
<laughs> okay, right. there's your pole. <laughs> Damn it. If you guys haven't checked out Outdoors McGee, check out his very last video oh God, because he pretty much had funny. some problems too. And <laughs> well, there's some left. It's okay. All of it popped pretty yeah. good. Yeah, it did. Better well, not than all, but most better of than it. That. Okay, well, <laughs> there you go, guys. I'll kick you back on when a more exciting stuff happens. Yeah, there's my popcorn. <laughs> And I guess this is Bruno's. <laughs> or the birds. Uh, and there's your brand new phone. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I can't do both. I'll be back. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> we do that a lot. So, they got their boat. Yeah. They went and got his truck and trailer. And it took him a while. It took him forever. But... Apparently they were out of gas or something. Anyway, had a guy bring him gas, which I don't know why, because they didn't start it back up. Mm -mm. And his truck and trailer, so they just backed down over there and loaded the boat up, winched it up onto the trailer, so. Yeah. But, uh, so anyway, they did get it running. It did start up and run, so they must have been out of gas. I think he tilted the gas tank or whatever to see if that's what it was, but. So, he had a bad day. Yeah, I felt I mean, bad it was for him. A couple hours he was over there. Yeah. About two hours waiting on them to come back. And they left him by himself. Nobody would stay with him. Yeah. So, anyway, Monk, mm -hmm. I'll tell your story now. My story? Yeah, tell your story first. No, oh, my story about Bruno. Yeah, story time. <laughs> yes, <say that>. Story time. <laughs> I was just kidding, but that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so last night we're laying in bed. Well, I'm laying in bed. Shaver's over by the computer because he's working on one of his videos that you've seen that he loaded yeah. up last night. But so. earlier in the night. Yeah, earlier in the night. So we're kind of watching TV. No, I mean earlier in the night was outside. We were outside. With Bruno. What about him? What was we talking about? I was telling him about what happened in the bedroom. What was we talking about last night? We were talking about camping, that yeah. we need to go camping because it was nice outside. So, um... It's raining. Yeah, it's raining. <laughs> My watch just told me it was raining. So, we were outside talking about that, and, uh... So, we came in, and I'm watching TV on the bed, and... So Bruno gets up there on his side of the bed, and he has his pillows. He has two pillows, and he has yeah, pillow, on my side, yeah, uh, propped up. <laughs> and so Bruno actually took the one his pillow, and put it on top of him, and he got underneath it and crawled up in a ball, like he was making a little tent, a little fort. <laughs> yeah, a little fort. So I think that was our hint that we need to go camping. So. Yeah, and then after that, when I got in the bed, he got down and got underneath the bed. There's like a cave under there for him to go through. Yeah. So he was... Yeah. <laughs> so it was kind of like his little camping trip. He made a fort. Yeah. But that was cute. He just started nudging under that pillow. I thought, because he likes to try to bury his treats sometimes. So we was watching him. I said, I bet he got a treat under there. But he didn't. He got under there. And he got all the way under, and all you could see was the pillow moving every yeah, once in a while. Yeah, yeah it was so It's cute. like he made a little tent. We wish we had it on video because that was a really cute. Yeah. So here we are. We are camping. So. Yep. But we're car camping. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, stealth camping. Mm. Is this is really not a campsite. No. But, huh. you know, I've had people ask me, won't you do some stealth camping? Because... The way I feel about that is, I feel like if I do that, I'm I'm smacking every trucker and every homeless person in America for doing that. Right. Because they have to. Homeless people, they have to do it. They have no choice. Yeah. And for me to go out and try to monetize my video for monetary gain and go, look, I'm stealth camping. I shouldn't be here. And, you know, there's a guy a mile up the road that has no choice. Right. And the reason why I said truckers is they do it every night. Mm -hmm. Every night. You know, they pull over, they get in the back, and they sleep. Yeah. I don't see the big hype in this, 
you know, sleeping in Walmart parking lot. Yeah. And all these people, oh, I turned my van into a camper. Hmm. So, you know, I, I bought a bus, turned it into a camper. So, one because one night she made a good point. She said, well, you know, the pioneers did that with horses and wagons. That's right. That was their camper. Yeah. They would drive all friggin' day long. Yeah. Nighttime, they'd set up camp. Mm-hmm. They'd sleep in the back of their thing and some of them even had a little what they call pot belly stoves in them yeah so you know we're talking 17 1800s mm -hmm. i don't see the big hype in it you know I building either, a camper really. out of a van i mean it's not that hard no. or a bus you know look i built a camper and a lot of them guys you know i've only got 10 grand in the stuff and I uh, only gave you know twelve grand for the for the van, and so I only got two twenty two thousand dollars in this camper, a camper that's you know fifteen years old. Right. That you had to do all the work to. You can go buy a decent camper five years old for that kind of money. Right. It's already a camper. I don't see the hype in it. I'm not cutting them down, so my haters, whatever. I'm just saying I don't see the hype in it, and I really don't like the. Uh, stealth camping for that reason because there's people out there living under bridges but then you got this you know big time youtuber camping under a bridge for monetary gain you know for yeah. views and stuff when there's a guy up the road that has no choice yeah you know because getting nothing because if we get made to leave we just go home right you know if this guy if the if the guy that honestly really has nowhere to go if he gets made to leave in a, in a rainstorm snowstorm he's got no choice no he has to sit in it or walk around in you know it. you can't be under this bridge he's got to go try to find somewhere else he can't just go okay well my camping trip's over i'll just go home to my nice warm bed i just you know i, I have a problem with that i really do you know because like i said there are and there's homeless vets out there that are doing that you know that have to and they don't have a choice and but that's why i never got into stealth camping because you know i mean <laughs> i drove a truck for a couple of years and i did it every night you know, mm -hmm. pull over somewhere and jump in my bunk and go to sleep. I mean, you know, it's not like it hasn't, you know what I'm saying? So, anyway, all right. You got any more stories? Yeah. You do? No. I was Why did you just say yeah? I thought you meant you want my story. You guys might be moving a little bit because, well, we do have the gimbals built in or the right. boss stabilization. Mm hmm. So, but you guys are on our ma air mattress. <laughs> she didn't bring a tripod. <laughs> no. So, I took her headband thing for her camera, and I took the band off of it. It's real easy to take off, but it's also got a clip. So, I got that clipped on to my band on my camera. <laughs> so, we're using one tripod, and her camera's mounted onto my camera. So. That's go. pretty cool. I'll take a picture of it with my phone. I'll throw it in this video how we got how we got this set up. You know, it like works. I said, survival it's situation, good. your number one tool is up here. Yeah. So if we were in a survival situation, I could have two camera angles on one tripod filming our demise. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I said that earlier. She was like, can you put that another way? <laughs> mm. But so, yeah, anyway. So good story, Monk. Yep, and he's happy. He's at the bottom of my feet, so he's happy. Oh yeah, he loves being out. You notice how quiet he's been all day, like since we've been here. Yeah. Yeah, he got underneath the truck there and laid there watching these people over here, and he didn't bark one time. Nope. Mm -mm. Oh, he loves them air boats. Yeah, yeah, he likes them. I gotta, I gotta have some air. You want me to put the window down? No, because that means you gotta get out. Turn the key on. I don't know. I might be able to crawl, but then... No, we're not doing that. We're doing our film. Okay, so, all right. I got kind of a spooky story for you. So, it's been about a week or so ago, about a week or two ago. Week two? <laughs> a week two ago. Mm -hmm. uh, last week, maybe, or maybe the week before. Wasn't that long ago. So, you know, like, I still... You know, I don't sleep. I get like three hours a night or whatever. But anyway, it was like, I was about three o'clock in the morning. And this is kind of like the way our bed is set up, you know. She's on my right. I'm on her left. 
<coughs> and to her right, there's a wall. Well, she got, you know, room between the bed and the wall. But that's where the wall is, which has a window there. And that's where we have our window air conditioner. So we got drapes, you know, hanging, mm -hmm. just those light, light drapes, you know, mm -hmm. curtains. All right. So, and just something out of the corner of my and, I, and so I'm looking this way at the TV on that wall. Something out of the corner of my eye, you know, you see something moving. I looked over just in time to see that drape coming back down. It was as if somebody walked past and pulled that drape, you know how, you know, and pulled that drape a good foot and a half, 18, or a foot, 18 inches, and Bruno lay down. He's sneaking. He thinks I don't see him. He's low crawling. I don't know <laughs> when I'm hitting the tripod. So, you know, like if you walk past drapes and the drapes move and then when they, when you walk, walk away from them, they go back. That's what happened. So I thought it was Bruno down there because he had, that's where his bed is. And I looked over, he's on my computer chair, which was on my left. Uh, Snickers here? Because I was looking, she woke up and she was like, what's wrong? I said, there's Snickers over there? She said, no, why? So I opened up the bedroom door, looked down in the living room, Snickers was on the couch. So what moved that? And there wasn't no... No, not there wasn't that much air coming through that goddamn. No, because uh, I have a towel there yeah, blocking it. There wasn't no air. There wasn't that much air coming through that. By and by the way, the the uh, air conditioner wasn't on. No. So there, the there was fan. no reason, or the fan, the no, ceiling fan wasn't on. It's there, been cold. Okay, so there was no reason <laughs> for right. that to be moving that far and just come back. It. You know, even when the ceiling fan is on, you can barely see it moving. Yep. But this was like somebody pulled the drape over and just let it go and come back. Hmm. Never done it. it. Hasn't done it since, but it's never done it for before either, for sure. So, that's my story. Well, I got one more I already mentioned on her video clip. So, you know, I'm always harping on you guys. Make sure you carry a lighter. Make sure you carry a lighter. And I do. And it's, it's, wow, uh, it's, look how yeah, it is. it's almost oh full. Oh my God. And Can't. the flint Broke. flew out of the way. This is a cricket. These things are junk. But these have been getting free. Anytime you buy, anytime we buy three packs of cigarettes, he gives us a free lighter. Yeah. Just one of the 79 cent ones. So when you carry a lighter, carry a Bic because my last Bic, she bought me a black one I used for a year, about a year. And the flint's still good in it. So I still got a spark in case I need to, uh, which I've done before. Maybe I'll do a video on that. Just a spark with a, with a dead lighter. Right. And you can start a fire. Um, but these ones, it's always the flint goes always i've had them the, actually the flint actually seen it fly out before on these mm. so what i've been doing when i find my cigarette i've got this my fire striker and i use that to strike my little propane stove yeah it works and then light my cigarette with that it worked <laughs> it works um because i've got like uh two or three lighters in my tackle box for some reason, I didn't put one in my backpack, probably because I'm thinking I always have one in my pocket. All right. But in this case, yeah, these things, if you're going to carry a lighter, you got to carry two of these, that's for sure. I've had them brand new, not even light. I mean, you know, just brand new, first strike and flint fly out. These, these crickets suck, but get you a beck, you know, throw it in your pocket. Because, you know, like I said, I smoke half a pack a day, and that, that lighter, that Bic lighter lasted me about a year so you know and it lights a lot because like sometimes you know i go garage and smoke i'll smoke a little bit of a cigarette put it out i'll come back out light it so you know sometimes it's lighting three times it's lighting one cigarette so that's a lot of strikes and a lot of lights um and people say yeah but it's eventually going to run out of fluid yeah it's eventually going to run out of fluid, which is true. She 
you mentioned earlier, hardly any airboats out tonight. And I said, well, you want to see an airboat, I'll turn the camera on. There you go. <laughs> I can't be out in the middle of nowhere. I know. So, but <laughs> anyway, so they're like, you know, well, it's eventually going to, it's going to uh, run out of fluid. True. But you still got a spark. Right. And they're like, you know, your fire striker, indefinitely. No. They will wear out too because it's flint. Right. You know, it's just all it is. I mean, it's, you know, and they can break. So I'm not saying don't carry one. I'm saying always have two ignition sources at least. Mm -hmm. A lighter and, but just normal everyday situations, you know, throw one in your glove box, keep it in every vehicle you got. You got a boat, throw one in there, throw one in your tackle box. Right. You know, a lighter. But, yeah, it's like, so, oh, what I was getting at was if you, you know, I mean, if you can't get help in a year, by the time that Bic lighter runs out, mm -hmm. and besides, once you get a fire going, you know, providing you got the resources, you can keep that thing going on that long. Mm -hmm. Or you build a, a big, good fire, and the next day you still got coals, you don't have to relight, use your lighter every time. Right. So, I don't, I you know... But it runs out of fluid. Yeah, it does. But geez, if you can't get help by the time you use that bick up, you're probably going to be there for a while. <laughs> you probably got a cabin built now. And, mm -hmm. you know. So that was my story time. That was her story time. And I don't know. I may turn you guys back on. I mean, you got, you want to talk to yours, say anything? Or? Mm, you, you did most of it. <laughs> You tell interesting stories. Tell us another one. You have good stories. I don't know. What do you want to hear about? Anything. I can tell you about the time I got my ass kicked by a deer. What happened? I got my ass kicked by a deer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just said what happened. How did it happen? Okay, so me and my buddy Dave, we called him Dupe. Dupe. Short for Dupre. <laughs> he was just, Anyway... <laughs> funny guy <laughs> so we <laughs> we was out deer hunting right so mm -hmm. you know he's ever i can see him you know he's about 100 yards away to my right so and you know i'm pointing this way and he's pointing like that way you know so we got we got everything covered and we can see what's coming between left and right mm -hmm. so we had it covered you know so i wouldn't want to shoot that way and he wouldn't want to shoot this way you see what i mean mm -hmm. so it was all safe and everything and sure enough here comes a doe big old doe <laughs> coming down and she's looking around i'm like come a little bit farther a little bit farther and i mean i'm, I'm right at her right and i'm waiting i just want that good because i like to make one clean shot right mm -hmm. And she stepped out from behind this tree, and I went, and she stopped and looked, and that's all it took. I dropped her right there. Good line mm -hmm. shot. I know some of you guys, if you don't like hearing about that, you might want to fast forward. So, dropped her right then. I'm like, yeah. And here come I hear Dave. All right, Marty. Mm -hmm. And I hear him shuffling ass up through the woods. So, mm -hmm. I'm standing there, and I get my gut knife out, getting ready to gut her. But I'm thinking, well, you know, I'll let Dave catch up. I'm going to smoke a cigarette. And I light the cigarette. <laughs> I just get it lit, and I hear... <laughs> Only I'm looking at Dave, and I hear this behind me, right? Mm -hmm. And I turn around. Here's the, This buck, I mean, he, he had kind of... A, he just had a small basket rack. He was like seven or eight point. But he was a big body deer, right? Huge deer. It must have been his mate I killed so this thing just just like like body checks me like you would have boom and knocks me down right and i'm like crap so knife flies out of my hand <laughs> oh shit so he starts this shit on me right and i'm down and i'm trying <laughs> and i hear dave laughing his ass off i'm like dude help he's like i ain't getting involved in that <laughs> And I'm like, do something. So what's he do? He comes over, kicks the knife closer to me. <laughs> and runs back a ways a little bit. Oh, no. So <laughs> the whole time he's got his cell phone like this. <laughs> he's filming this whole thing, right? Filming this whole thing, right? Mm -hmm. 
So I grabbed this, this box here with my left arm and I got him and I got him twisted. Uh, this is fighting. I can't do it in here. But this, I mean, this this is a fight. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, a fight fight. I never fought a man that, that strong. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I he was trying to get me, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I finally got my knife and, you know, I, I did what I had to do. You know, wow. I mean, which I had to call that in because, you know, I only had a tag for a doe. And I killed a buck. Mm. So I had to call the game warden. They come out and checked it and... They found out the story was true, but the whole time he's filming, he didn't hit record. Oh no! So he never got no, it. No, but he was laughing the whole time. He's like, "Get him, Marty! Kick his ass!" <laughs> Dupe, I need help. He comes over. He like skittishly comes over, kicks a knife closer to me, and runs back. <laughs> That's funny. He was like, "I, I wasn't about to get enough scrap with you." <laughs> <laughs> Gee, thanks. You yes. know, because we'd been in boardroom scratch before. He had my back. He's right there, you know. Yeah. Good guy to have around. But when it came to that deer, he didn't want no part of that. <laughs> he said, I knew you could take him on me. I mean, the deer outweighed me, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It dressed out like 190 pounds. I was only like. Bruno, sit down, please. And I was only like, you know. 165 then, maybe 170. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, I just had to lay there for a minute, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, oh, I'm out of breath. And Dave's like, the, the warden's name was Roby Williams. He's like, you gonna call Mr. Roby? I'm like, you know what? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> He's just laughing the whole time. And there for a while, he, he started it and got my friends calling me Buck for a while. Because <laughs> I got in a fight with a deer, a buck deer. Mm-hmm. Be walking through the store. Hey, Buck! <laughs> oh, <shit. Ugh. laughs> Wow. But, yeah, I mean, if I didn't have a knife, he would have kicked my ass. Mm. Yeah. You know, they were in rut, so. Right. You know, you mess with it. I didn't see him. And I said, Dave, did you see that? Did you see the buck? And he said, well, I've been watching him. He said, he kind of went in front of me, but I didn't have a shot. And I said, by that time, he said, by that time, he was behind it, mm. behind me. So he couldn't shoot in my direction mm -hmm. he said well i couldn't get your attention because hmm. you know i could have spun around and got that deer right i didn't know he was back there hmm. but dave couldn't get my attention because i'm watching this doe i wasn't looking over here dave i'm watching this doe right wow <laughs> <laughs> yeah <Wow. laughs> uh, <coughs> true story but so anyway that's my story time okay <laughs> Very good. I never told you that story. Mm -mm. <laughs> That's <a> true story. <laughs> That's yeah. funny. That's funny. Yeah, he, he's like, I recorded the whole thing. <laughs> he's like, well, that's good. At least we got something out of it. He goes, oh, wait. <laughs> no, I <it> didn't. <laughs> oh, no. He did take a picture, but it was pointed down. He got nothing <sighs> except a good story to tell his grandchildren. <laughs> right. That's one of those things that really happened and nobody will believe you, you know. Right. Well, the game warden had to believe me because, I mean, there was no bullet hole in that deer. Hmm. And he didn't want to shoot at the deer. Right. I mean, you know, he could have shot me. So, you know, there wasn't no bullet hole in the deer and it just had his neck cut. So, you know, he was like, well, I, ha I, I have no choice but to believe it because who's going to jump on a deer to slice his throat, you know? Right. <laughs> I mean, it was self-defense. <laughs> Thank God I didn't have to go to trial on that. Mm. <laughs> it was seriously self-defense wow <laughs> oh man and and the rack wasn't that great i mean no no it was real it, like i said it was a little basket rack mm. seven or eight point but they were small tiny they were just little there's a big body deer so i did get get enough meat i did give some meat to dave too but because mm. i had two deer well <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> i kept the buck and then the uh the dough, I gave some, I gave a bunch of meat out of the dough to Dave, and then um, the rest of it we took to Salvation Army. And, yeah, our Salvation Army in Ohio, my hometown, they give out deer meat. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, but that's my story. So anyway, I'm going to kick you guys off, and I'm going to try to get some of these mosquitoes out of here for Monkey, because they are all over, because, you know, we are on this water here in this little peninsula, and... I do have the door open because it's hot in here. So, 
Alright, I think Monkey's gotta go pee. It's just like, how do I pee? It's going down to pee. <laughs> you need to start bringing a bucket. It'll be interesting. <laughs> I shall film it. No, you shall not. <laughs> I'll use your camera. No, you will not. <laughs> My phone? No. Alright, I'll be back with you guys. Why are you waving by? <laughs> I'm not done with mine yet. Why are you going to say more? Maybe later if interesting stuff happens. Update. Yeah, I got my window down. Sorry about the wind noise, but... Hi, Monk. Hi. What happened, Monk? Water rised. <laughs> water, water rised. <laughs> it got up about two feet from the car. The truck so and we was just going to move it forward but then there was a dip there so we couldn't pull down in that because that's where the water was coming to right. and we would have really been left on an island <laughs> and if we'd have moved up a little farther well then the angle and slope of that hill there's just no way you know so we just decided well we'll just come home i think we would have been okay but better safe than sorry huh yeah, I think we would have been all right, but we was like, well, you know what, let's just, we, we did a test, so we know it's going to be, it's comfortable back there, isn't it? Yeah, I would sleep back there, no problem. Oh, yeah, I mean, I, I, had I, our pads, and our pads, I yeah. didn't feel nothing underneath it. No, and, um, I, I never sleep, and I bet you, it's 11 o'clock exactly right now, and I would have been, yeah. I think I would have been asleep at midnight. And it's it's raining more, so. Yeah, it's starting to rain. You can see so that, that on the windshield. The river to go up some more, too. Yeah. So we were like thinking for. See, if it rains south of us, because that's only a mile or so from the Withlacoochee River. Right. And if it rains south of us, the river rises here because it runs this way. So that's why this one, this even though it's just a channel, it forks off of the lakes and that river, and also there's springs there. So it started rising, and we was like, I, I still think we would have been okay. Uh, I mean, this thing would have went through some water, but I just didn't want to wake up and step in the water, and that that's an eerie feeling, waking up wet. <laughs> That's another story time story. I told Monkey about it. <laughs> um, so anyway, we just decided to come home. Um, it's no biggie. No, it happens. Yeah, I mean, it's not like we had to pick up a tent or anything, so. No. No. Um, yeah, so I, I'll just keep an eye on it, and then we'll know about how high that'll get when it rains, you know. Yeah. And next time we'll know. Uh, uh -uh. I can make a water. I can, you know what I can do? Uh -uh. I can make a water alarm mm -hmm. to where I can put it so far from the truck, mm -hmm. and when the water hits it, it'll emit a loud beeping noise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then we know. Okay, we gotta go. Mm -hmm. That'll work, won't it? Yeah. And we found out. What 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 we find out about this thing we didn't know. We have an alarm in our car. Yeah, it's got an alarm. Never heard it before. Ever. I mean, no. And, and I tried to. open the door and it went off. We were inside it. Yeah. And I opened up the back door to look out and the alarm was going off, so I had to come up here, fumble with the keys, uh -huh. <laughs> stick the key in the ignition, start it up. Yeah. But I thought, because some of them don't have an alarm, they just got that theft system to where, you know, it'll just, um, it just won't start. This actually has an alarm. <laughs> well, it doesn't, it's not a siren, but the horns go off. So that's pretty wild. So anyway, we're gonna go in and <laughs> monkey's like every light's on in the house. Yep. I remember, I remember my first night in my apartment. Was my first wave? Yeah. Our first apartment, first yeah. night in there. Oh, yeah. We didn't have nothing, right? Right. So. <laughs> we uh <laughs> but there was a store like a block not even a block 
catty corner to us. And that's when they had pay phones. I called my mom and dad, and my mom answered. I said, where's dad at? And she's like, well, he's he's in taking a shower. Why? I said, well, you tell him I got every light on in the house. Because <laughs> he would always say, damn it, you kids have every light on in the house. <laughs> but since it was my house, it didn't matter. Yeah. All right, guys, so you got anything to add, Monk? No. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to, this is my outro, so. I'm going to end mine tomorrow. Are you? <laughs> you tired? In the morning, I'll come outside. We was watching YouTube because we had a good connection there. Yeah, yeah, that's nice thing because we go all the way to the river. You have heart, nothing. Yeah. Sometimes very little if you're lucky. It's a good thing. So there we could watch YouTube and yeah. stuff on there. So we were comfortable. It's just that he got a little nervous with the water. So, and I don't want my car in the water. <laughs> well, there's there's a story about why I got a little nervous about that. <laughs> He's stuck. I, I think the truck would have came out at okay. Yeah, I uh, think. We've had it in over, you guys seen that video clip, I'm sure, where we went we over, went the, over hood. the hood. Mm -hmm. But still, I, I don't. I don't want to be floating. Yeah, I got another story time story about that. About I don't think we would have floated. We might have just got muddy and stuck. A no, bit. it would have had to get real high to float the truck. Yeah. But still, it's just the thought of getting out and you're surrounded by water. <laughs> I don't think it would have came up to the truck. I think it would have went around the truck because we was on the peninsula. Yeah. It was higher. Mm -hmm. But then the water around us and then it dipped down to pull out. So I think we would have just been stuck on a little island. Mm -hmm. And there wasn't no room if I had to get a run for it to get us out. Right. <laughs> I only had like three feet behind us. So... Better right. to be safe than sorry. Yeah, yeah, it's not a big deal. Anyway, I, I should I should have thought of that earlier. Anyhow, what's that light for? What the fuck? I don't know. There's a light on. I don't know. All these lights are coming up. Is that the alarm? No, it's in. It's built into the stereo. There should be a light blinking on here when you set the alarm on the stereo. Oh yeah. Yeah, there should be a little red light blink, but. I didn't ever even so, knew we had one. So anyway, um, when we started, well, I started having problems. She she had a great night, but I was having problem, all kinds of problems, wasn't I? Yeah. So I should have left them, but I thought, ah, screw it, you know, we'll just get in the truck and go to sleep. And then it started raining, and I looked out earlier, though. It's going to pour, so I'm going to yeah. go in the house. And I was like, well... <laughs> I was like, well, the water's up. So. Yeah. All right, guys. Say bye, Monk. Bye, y'all. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Shea Bear, the Myth Man, Legend. I'm gone for now. She'll do her outro in the morning. So, right. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys. Take care.